Big Run Production. What's poppin' y'all? It's your hub big homie MC Ron Ski. VOG once again, man. No chill, no filter TV. This here is just like a quick one, you know what I'm saying? Um Y'all already know who I got to the right of me, man. But either way it goes, just like in battle rap, I'm gonna let this man introduce himself real quick. What's poppin'? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Chris Kane. Battle rap Barry Parker, hat game, fly, pin game. No chill, no filter TV. That's what we're talking about. So, first off, Cuz hit me today, right? He was like, look here, Cuz, man. There's some stuff going on, man, that I need to holler about. That deserves some no, no chill, no filter. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a nice morning, you know what I'm talking about? So I was like, yeah, Cuz, come on over and get that up off your chest then. You know, it was a few things that he wanted to talk about. So, what I'm going to do is, man, I'm going to give him the floor. And uh, here it is, right here, straight from the horse's mouth. What's poppin', Cuz? All right, first thing I'm going to talk about, right? So, I wake up this morning, you know what I'm saying? My nigga LL Cool G, he hit me. Mm -hmm. He like, bro, you see this shit, uh, what this nigga, what this fag-ass nigga Spark is doing? I'm like, uh, well, he didn't call you no fag. I'm calling you a fag, but um, but um, he like, you see what this nigga doing? I'm like, what, what? He like, watch this. He inbox me. They do another overgrind. I guess it's episode 29 or something with Body Gang featuring Body Gang or whatever. So I I I, I watched the video and shit. The nigga on there, they making jokes about uh uh Pen Gang and Knock Off Body Gang and um that nigga came trash and. Killer B say some shit like, uh, well, I, I never asked the nigga to be body gang. Like, nigga, I never asked you to be body gang. I never wanted to be body gang. Don't forget, nigga, y'all niggas grew up watching me, first of all. Second off, you niggas lame as a bitch for the simple fact that every time I turn around, you gay ass niggas got my name in y'all mouth. Like, if I'm so trash, if I'm not relevant, why every time y'all do a blog, y'all gotta throw some shade towards me? Mind you, I be checking out, I be seeing different motherfuckers just outside of the battle world as fans and shit. They, I ask them, I always ask them, because I'm not a nigga that throw shade at people, you know what I'm saying? They be like, I ask them, like, how y'all feel about Body Gang, Killer B, Showstopper? I'm like, them niggas be cooking. They be like, oh man, them niggas corny as hell, them niggas lame as a bitch, that shit they rap about, they ain't about that shit. I'm like, well, them niggas nice in my opinion, but okay, so it's good that you niggas nice, to motherfuckers outside the state, that's what you want. But motherfuckers in your state don't even like you. They don't even take y'all niggas serious. Y'all some drunk ass, clown ass niggas that want to do <laughs> vlogs and videos and y'all think y'all at the top and y'all not there. For instance, okay, like me, I know I'm 33 years old. I know all that getting on smack, PG, all that shit is over. You niggas chasing the PG and shit that y'all not gonna never get. Like Norb, Killer B, Norbs don't like you. Just like he don't like me, he don't like you either. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what are you niggas doing? Y'all hopping, y'all hopping teams. First y'all go hard, go home. GE did put y'all on the platform to get y'all food, and y'all shit on him. Y'all turn y'all back on that man and join cartel, which I can't knock nobody for their business moves or whatever. But that shit lame as a bitch. Then y'all niggas get on the internet and talk about y'all guys. Get talk like y'all guys gift to battle rap. You niggas trash too, just because y'all niggas telling y'all hot, y'all hot, that don't mean y'all hot. Like, I watched the Killer B and Ty Law battle. Why everybody on there all, Killer B 2 1, Killer B this, and Killer, you lost, my nigga. Like, just like I lost against Mars, you lost, my nigga. Then the nigga Showstopper. Like my nigga Coogee said, like, the nigga think he tough now because he got a little gun. Everybody got those. Here we go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, like, you know what I'm saying? My, my thing is, like, why the fuck. Is you niggas still mentioning me? If I'm so trash, don't mention my motherfucking name, Sparks. Now, we was just at the Tears Over Tears event when I battled Mars with Cortez was here. Everything was cool, calm, and collective, kosher, didn't nobody have no problems. But then here you go again. Turning around, making blogs about me, saying shit, throwing a little sideways shot. Like, what is it, nigga? Like, you don't want to battle me. I'm not a bitch, so I know you don't like me like that. Or you is a bitch and you gay or something. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, nigga, every time I turn, we squash the shit. Then, then, bro, my nigga Coogee said he texted the nigga, right? Like, uh, what, 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 what's going on, bro? Why y'all always throwing shade and this and that? You know what I'm saying? Said the nigga cop plea ASAP. Like, oh, man, I was drunk, man. I don't remember. I, I was drunk. Like, nigga, you know exactly what the fuck you was doing. But then when everybody asks you about it or get on your ass about it, 
you get amnesia or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that shit lame as fuck. But you know what, man? This, this is my question, man. And honestly, this is a question that's really posed not only to you, man. This posed to really all you battle rap cats, man. Like, right now, I see a whole lot of animosity, man. You know, I mean, there's... And, and I'm just... I, I don't care, man. I, I will name drop, man. I mean, there's animosity between you and Sparks, of course. There's animosity between Say Mercy and um, Define Range. I mean, I'm, I'm not really understanding this. For real, for real, if y'all gonna be in the ring with this, man, be in the ring with this. If y'all gonna be out the ring with this, then handle that business outside. Right, I mean, right. all, all the, and all, I'm, I haven't, once again, I haven't seen the grind show that you're talking about. I don't know, you know, what he said or what was said, man. But all I do know is, man, that honestly, man, the foolishness need to stop. I understand what you're saying because for real, for real, you know, I'm seeing it. That's all. Every time I every time I come on Facebook, man, I see it, I see it, I see it. Honestly, y'all, y'all need to understand something. That's one of the reasons why I made this show. Dude, all that old man hiding behind these words, man, is really getting on my nerves. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sick of the sneak this and I'm sick of the... And see, that's my thing, though. Guys, okay, man. but that's my thing, though. Like, niggas sneak this, do they little vlog videos, recaps, or whatever. But then when you see a nigga at an event, a nigga want to shake five and you know what I'm saying want to be cool like that shit not cool because mm -hmm. if you really don't like a nigga you really don't like a nigga if you just trolling you just trolling but y'all niggas do that shit too much like y'all want to be the biggest battle league y'all got the name y'all want to be the biggest battle group in uh we got the we got the bloods we got the crips right we got the gds we got the vice lords we got the mexican posses we got the ms-13 then we got body gang the toughest scariest gang in the United States. Fuck out of here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody's supposed to be scared of y'all niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then, like, G-Face. I grew up with G-Face. You know what I'm saying? And he's supposed to be my nigga, but he always sneaked this in two. And I heard about the truth. You know what I'm saying? I don't know whose side. I bar my nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I'm, I'm not taking no sides, but it just sounds like a bunch of fucked up bad business to me right. on the King 8 battle or whatever, however that shit go. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you niggas need to... You niggas need to realize that y'all are not stars. Like y'all not where y'all think y'all at yet. Okay, one of y'all signed with uh with Guerrilla Warfare. One of y'all signed and Cartel. Definitely, I know y'all probably under the contract. That's the thing. That's the difference between me. I'm not trying to sign with no leagues or nothing. I'm not under nobody contract. I'm my own brand. You feel what I'm saying? I don't need to ride nobody wave to get up here like G Face and the Bucks. And all the niggas that, not, no, no hate, but all the niggas that joined Body Gang, y'all tried to ride off they momentum. I started, me and C Hit started Pin Gang on our own, and niggas wanted to join. We didn't grab niggas by their necks, or we didn't try to, you know what I'm saying, make niggas join, or ask niggas to join. Niggas like, oh, I want to fuck with y'all. I can't help because niggas want to fuck with real motherfuckers in real life. But then niggas try to degrade our movement. But we still being mentioned by you peon ass niggas though. If we not nothing, if we a knock off body gang, why even consider us to have a body gang versus pen gang battle? Why even mention me or just pick the top niggas that y'all think out of pen gang and have them to battle? I don't give a fuck. That's what y'all fail to realize. I don't really give a fuck about that shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But y'all do though, cause that's all y'all. Y'all don't got no jobs. Y'all still nickel and dime hustling. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all still chasing after a bitch that don't want y'all. You know what I'm saying? And that's all y'all got is y'all got more time. Of course you're going to be nicer than me if I work 60 hours a week and only had three days, two days out the week to write my raps and shit. And, but y'all got all day to do nothing because y'all some bored ass niggas. Like, of course, it's going to be a diff. You got more time to think, more time to sit around, more time to do shit, more time to waste your life on battle rap because you're not going nowhere. Like, and I'm not no hater or nothing, but for what I, it's been, what, three, four years since Cartel and took the stage and was big as Battle League and you niggas still haven't went nowhere? Come on now, like, that shit is, that shit is played, bro. And like, as far as the nigga Sparks, man, like, we done had conversations on the phone, we done squashed it, I done talked to you, he done talked to you, you know what I'm saying? Shit was supposed to be cool, but every time I turned around... The nigga always got my name in his mouth. Like I'm starting I mean, to think. I mean, but I mean honestly. I'm thinking I he homo. Was... I think he homo. <laughs> I think he homo, man. I, 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 I no pause, nothing. But I just think he gay, my nigga. Like for real. Like that's the only thing. Cause like you don't want to battle me. You don't like me. You don't book me. So why are you thinking about me? 
Like what keep what is on that nasty ass mind of yours, bro? I mean honestly, do do you just think that maybe you just taking some things a little bit too personal? Or do you think that this is actually something that's happening? Do you it's, okay, I'm gonna tell the you? truth. I'm gonna tell the truth. Okay, it, it, it started from me going to New York with uh with uh, uh C hit them in the first Tears Over Tears events where I was ducked. Right. Yeah, I get ducked too. Where I was ducked by the nigga K9 that was from Houston. You know what I'm saying? Went all the way down there. But Sparks wanted niggas to battle in his firing range in his basement to uh to send the Cortez them the footage so they can um so they can evaluate the footage and see who they want to pick. Right. Nigga Brooklyn Rum hit me up like, bro, I mean, you got all this footage, so what is he, you know what I'm saying? You don't need to try out. Like, why the fuck should I try out for a basement league? And I'm already I ain't gonna say I'm up here, but I'm already I, my name is already set in stone. Like for instance, like the nigga Joker on the 17th, he wanted to battle me. I didn't want to battle him. He wanted to battle me. It's a difference. Y'all niggas digging at me. It ain't like oh, it ain't like I'm calling Killer B out. I already battled Showstopper. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like I'm calling Buck or G Face and none of them niggas out. Y'all fucking with me. So either y'all gonna battle because I will kill you niggas when I'm serious, bro. Like I don't take you niggas serious. Like these niggas is not. Series and I might be taking it a little personal, but with this with the spark with the body gang shit, but with the spark situation, it's more than just that. It's about motherfuckers not following his so called lame ass rules and going over his head and battling New York and being on tears over tears. It's something that you can't control, my nigga. No matter if you think I'm trash or not, my, my name is branded and I built my name from the ground up. I didn't ride no I didn't ride nobody wave. I did this shit on my own. I posted links in Facebook all day every day. I shared my battles in every group all day every day. I text my battles to motherfuckers all day every day. I did that. So for a nigga to feel like they doing something for you or they did something for you or you went behind their back because they doing something for you, that's some fuck nigga shit. Period. Well, I, I guess I can understand your your argument on that, man. Uh, but that's not that's just with Sparks, you know what I'm saying? That's right. not with the whole body game. My thing is with body game, they just talk too motherfucking much. Like every but time, I mean, every honestly, man, every like I said, I don't see nobody that don't talk. I mean, everybody do it. You do it. True. true. Everybody do it. You know. But what not saying? about them. You feel what I'm saying? I don't. I don't. I don't sit up every day. I'm not thinking about okay, what I'm finna say today to piss Killer B off, or what I'm finna say today. Like for instance, in the uh, in a uh, little overground show or whatever, the nigga like, uh, yeah, I asked Coogee to join Body Gang. I asked Hillen to join Body Gang, which Coogee said I don't know about Hillen, but the nigga never asked me no bullshit like that. But I never asked Chris Kane to join Body Gang. What the fuck do I got to do with? <laughs> Yeah, I understand that. You feel what I'm saying? What do I have to do with that? Like, but this is not the first time. Like, in one day, first little podcast, oh, fuck Chris Kane, blah, 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 Killer B saying that. If you don't want to battle me, if you better than me, why the fuck are you still mentioning my name, my God? Like, you funny face ass, alcoholic ass niggas, man. No, all of them look like Goofy and shit, you know what I'm saying? All twin brothers, twin poodles looking ass niggas, man. Like, there's no chill, no filter, man. You niggas. And then I want to talk about this one nigga. I'm going to get back to y'all. The nigga Rue Taylor from Brooklyn or Boston. I just trolled the shit out of him yesterday. He lost that troll war, but he a lame ass nigga too. That's that's all the attention you going to get. You just lame, bro. You just lame. I don't know what to call you. be all in them bias and battle rap debate teams. Trolling other niggas from different states. Saying you know niggas on Garfield. Niggas ride down on Garfield. Don't nobody show up. Like, uh, Well, you know what? Honestly... <laughs> My my honest opinion on everything that you saying, man, is for real, for real. If if y'all want to do this as entertainment, then leave it at entertainment. See, That's all they doing though. Not to cut you off, they entertainers. That's what they do. They entertain. They get in front of the camera. They 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 go to the page. You know what I'm saying? They don't go right. to the source. They go to the page. Right, right. Like that cipher page. Like that's what's fucking the game up is the internet, the the battle groups and shit. Cause they give you lame ass niggas and you corny niggas a way to be tough without being tough. Right, well, without getting hurt. Without you know, getting hurt, yeah, yeah, exactly. Getting hurt. And, and that's that's what I see. You know, that's the reason why I stay 100% away from it, man, because I know how serious things can get, man, behind certain words. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why Facts. I, when I look at stuff, man, I be like, whoa, is he serious? I mean, that got to be... But then the reason why I stay 100% out of it because I done seen some people say some very, very harsh things, you included. But then all of a sudden, y'all in the same room and everybody is like, hey, yeah, yeah. So now I can't take none of it serious. You know what I'm saying? Right, but you notice when I'm in that room... I stay away from them niggas. Them niggas come to me. Oh, bro, you this, that. Oh, you this, that. You, you dub right. drama, this and that, this and that, this and that. Like, me and drummer had a friendly battle talk. Right. 
doing the Milltown Blow event, the Spit That Heat event, you know what I'm saying? But all you other lame ass niggas is just standing around looking stupid, like, what? You, like, man, I, I can't take these niggas serious either, man, like, right. and like motherfuckers know, outside of battle rap, I'm one of the coolest motherfuckers you can meet, I keep it cordial, you know what I'm saying, and I give motherfuckers re they respect, but if you, if you rub me the wrong way and I start really not to like you, I will easily butt you in your shit, like, period, point blank, but I'm not here for that, though. I'm here to do this no chill, no filter, bro, but you niggas is lanes, man, and I'm sick of it. It's, it is like, like I said, like the body gang shit is probably a friendly competition right. thing, but the shit with Sparks is kind of getting out of line, and it's kind of gay. You know what I'm saying? It's gay, because like I had, one time I had an hour conversation with this nigga on the phone, this nigga cop and plead. Next thing you know, he go right back on Facebook, make a post, and kick me out the group like... Why the fuck would I, why, you gay, bro. I just spent the hour talking to you about squats and some shit, and you get back on there and talk right again about me, bro. Like, what What the fuck is you doing? But that's my issue with Spark, man. He a kid, man. These niggas kids, bro. Well, you know, honestly, man, you know, I'm, I'm the type, man, that, you know what, I'm a sideliner, and I'm going to stay a sideliner, you know. Um, you, you baby cuz, you know what I'm talking about. I, of course, you know, and I'm not really, I'm not tripping on no drama, nothing like that. I'm just sitting back watching, seeing what's going on, you know what I'm saying? But what I see is, and trust me, I've talked to people personally. I ain't the one to go back in and, and say, hey, man, this here's what dude said about you. And then go back to this person and say, this what this dude said about him. You know what I'm saying? What I do is, man, it's right here. Look. This is a this here is not a private conversation. Y'all see exactly what this man's saying. If y'all got something to say, comment below. Call me so you can sit in this chair or you can talk to this man. Period. But bottom line is, man, that that's one of the reasons why I created this platform. Hey, if y'all want to make it into Jerry Springer, you can come on here, beat the nigga ass legally, however you want to do it. Hey, and just, let me say one more thing. And when you when you do this, when you drop this, make sure you make this fuck body game and sparks vlog featuring Chris Kane. And it's not his doing. This is my doing. I want that title on Fuck Body Game. For real. Fuck Sparks. Fuck Sparks with a man with a with a with a broomstick. You know what I mean? Like, like it's no chill, no filter, my niggas. Like, y'all say fuck Chris Kane, fuck Pen Game. I'm saying fuck body game. That's that's what it is, man. Like, like I said, man, you, you niggas is lame as a bitch. And I feel the same way y'all feel about me. Fuck you niggas. Okay. Hands down, it's pin gang, man. And that's why I respect my nigga Coogee so much. Like, no matter how niggas try to say, they try to turn on us. Like, try to get us turn on each other. Oh, your own niggas don't have your back and your footage. They was cheering for the other niggas. I don't give a fuck about none of that because us as real niggas, not battle niggas, us as real niggas know where each other stand at. You feel what I'm saying? Because if he wasn't no real nigga, he wouldn't have inboxed me the blog. And the nigga was pissed. Right. He like he hit he hit sparks in and then they even said something about GE and Extendo on there or whatever. And then GE, you my nigga too. You know what I'm saying? You cool in real life too, but it's a lot of things about you that is food like you got smoked. And you talk the most shit, but you got smoked by Spence J. You got smoked by Rambo. So you and you lost the other battle. Like uh, you 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 on a three game loser streak, my nigga, like for real. And you wanna talk about how many times you've been on smack. Oh, I've been on smack more than the niggas that been on smack. How? Just because you had seven to eight PGs that never dropped in one drop? That don't make you on smack because you had a battle battle with Calico that never dropped. I'm going to talk about it. That don't make you, that, that don't say you've been on smack. You've been on smack once because that PG dropped against Logic. And that was like three years ago. But all the other battles don't count because you, guess what? You never hit the main stage. Like, you're not the nigga they call and be like, okay, this next card on tonight's. Undercard, we're gonna have GE Black Dollars versus Big Cannon, or you pay these same niggas that's already been on Smack or had PGs. Like, how can you be a PG nigga but pay PG niggas? I don't get it. But that's all I gotta say about you. You can come and feel free to say what you want, but it's the truth, my nigga. You not you you ain't went nowhere either. You begin your and Norbs them see that shit. You begin your boot smoke by Milwaukee and Kenosha. Shout out Spence J. My nigga, that's a nigga. Okay, okay. Salute, yeah. salute to my dude, G. I but like, salute I to like you, his, G. That, I like his performance. Yeah, I like you know, G. Nice. Don't get me wrong, but he yeah. just ain't beat the niggas that he battled lately. Right, right. He got smoked. Yeah, right. You, you was at the Rambo battle, tears over tears. All the Milwaukee niggas lost. Yeah. Speaking of body gang, Buck choked up the fucking footage. At least I went all three rounds. I probably stumbled around the two. First round, I had one of the best rounds, and motherfuckers went crazy. After my first round, my second round. That motherfucker was nice until like the last two minutes and it was dry. My third round was ass. I, I'm man enough to admit that shit. You feel what I'm saying? But at the same time, admit when you niggas take L's too because y'all been taking them. Right. Y'all been taking them. Well, 
that being said, Chris Kane vlog part two. And trust me, it's going to be a part three, man. No chill, no filter. A part TV. three, a part four, a part five, a part <laughs> six, a part seven. Say as long as they keep as long as, as long as they As long as they keep doing it, we here, man. Like, you niggas. Man, fuck Body Gang, fuck Sparks. He's all about pen gang, nigga. Like, like June 17th. Chris Kane versus Joker, Say Mercy Battle League. Shout out to my nigga Great Britain. It's still going down. G Face, you ducking King A because you think you finna get some money and you not. If you ain't broke, you wouldn't. If you wouldn't broke, you wouldn't be worried about that money, nigga. So my rhymes for the 17th is locked in his phone right here. So yeah, I'm not ducking that battle. I'm not ducking. So I'm gonna be there on the 17th. I hope y'all be there. Cheer on, fag ass niggas. <laughs> okay. Well, with that being said, man, y'all heard it from the horse's mouth, man. Chris Kane vlog part two. Shout, shout out to St. Mercy um, Battle League. You know what I'm saying? Y'all will be catching him down there, man, against the man, um, Funeral God, right? Yeah, Joker the Funeral God. Joker the Funeral God. Um, you will be seeing um, my man, um, Akbar, which is Great Britain. He'll be down there battling. Um, who is he battling Mr. Mills again? From, uh, Mr. Smack. Mills. Okay, that's gonna be heat. So um, you have your boy. You know what I'm saying? Personally, MC Ryan, Steve, the OG, will be in the building. Um, I guess I'll be mad in the cameras again. So you know I will be there, and I will be doing another highlight reel. I got one coming out for Spit That Heat also. So in any event, man, once again, man, MC Ryan, Ski, aka Big Ron Three Five Seven, the OG. Uh, this has been another edition, man. Uh, Chris Kane Vlog Part 2. No chill, no filter TV, man. Until next time, dog. Hey, y'all already know, man. Stay upset. Peace.